Hello world. So today I am chatting with the fabulous Millie Max of Grace and Grace by Millie Max actually. And she is in the beauty business. She's a creator of nail polishes and a beautiful line. And thank you for joining me today and being willing to chat. You're more than welcome. So, so yeah. So, well, let's just, how are you doing? How's everything going with you? Everything's going good. I'm doing well. I'm blessed. Just like, you know, one day at a time in this new world that we're living in with our new norm. Yes. Same here. When, we'll see what tomorrow brings is pretty much my right. mantra. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you're a businesswoman and a beauty creator, like I mentioned at the beginning. So why don't you just tell the world a little bit about yourself and your journey um, becoming a businesswoman and being interested in beauty? Yes. So um, my name is Millie Max, and I am the founder of Grace by Millie Max. And um, Grace by Millie Max is a faith-based nail lacquer brand that was ordained, given to me by God in, a, in my dream, actually. And um, I've worked in the beauty industry and in advertising and media for about 15 years. And it was at one point in my career where I felt that there needed to be a shift. And um, I was working on a well-named beauty brand and I decided to take a leap of faith and just go ahead and start my brand and since the in, in you know, from the very beginning it's been a huge blessing not just to myself but to everyone who actually encounters the brand mm -hmm. yeah I I know because I've purchased some of your products <laughs> yeah they're they're wonderful can you tell us a little bit about what your brand is so my brand is a vegan line. It's a vegan friendly line, correction. It's um, cruelty and toxic free, nine free, free of the nine harmful chemicals for your nails that either discolor it or leave it soft and brittle. And it's actually very safe for children as well to use and pregnant moms. Oh, good. Yeah, because that's definitely a concern, right? If yeah. I remember I started when I was really little, my next door neighbor, her whole first top drawer in her bedroom was nail polish. That and, used to be me. Yeah, and she would paint my toes for me. And I probably had my toes painted from like five, six, like constant. And then as an adult, you know, they didn't look as cute. Because <laughs> it had so many toxins over them over the yeah. years. Um, so now I don't really wear anything because I, I needed to get everything back healthy. So yeah. I'm so glad you created something that's child friendly too. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, like we have to do everything in moderation too. So it's, it's important to have these um, vegan friendly brands out mm -hmm. because it's, it's good for our bodies, you know, inner and outer. Yeah. And it's just a lot healthier all in general. Yeah, I agree. So um, this kind of actually leads me into the next question I want to chat with you about and um, something that I'm really passionate about, which is self-love. And you, you mentioned, you know, moderation, right? And, you know, healthy and balanced. Um, so I'm curious, how do you define love? And then is there a difference between love and self-love for you? And then like, how would you connect it all to beauty? So how would I define self-love? Self-love is accepting who you are for who God has made you to be mm -hmm. and just loving yourself in spite of anything with all your flaws. That's self-love. You know, we, we can be very critical of ourselves and find a flaw in everything that either we do or say or how we look. But, um, you know, that's just the way we were made. And we are to love ourselves the way that we were created because we were created in the image of God. It's true, especially as a perfectionist. Sometimes I'll be like, hmm, that's not good enough. Yes. <laughs> especially when it comes to my work. <laughs> yeah. You know. And how do you think that, can you talk a little bit more about that, like um, that need for self-love and accepting who you are, flaws and all, in, in terms of beauty and, and confidence for women and even for men, maybe? So accepting who we are, you know, I strongly believe that in order to, to show your outer beauty, you have to have that inner beauty. 
and in having the inner beauty comes with self-love you have to love who you are you know like we said with flaws and all and once you're confident in who you are you can walk out the door and just anything you can have on a mix match socks and that's beautiful and people will see it differently because they will see the confidence that you carry along mm -hmm. with that outer beauty because they go hand in hand and it's both for female males and children it goes hand in hand yeah i love how you say children right because it's important we start building our children up um, absolutely as an educator i see that and sometimes the kids my students want to hide right but it's okay. Things don't always look the way, no. you know, they don't always look perfect, right? But right. it's okay. Yeah. Cool. And that's why we encourage our children from very young to just accept themselves the way that they are. Because when they, when they are faced with these adversities and these obstacles, then, you know, they'll know, okay, my confidence says I am who God says I am. I am who my mom has always told me that I was. Yeah. yeah. And I noticed you put it in your packaging too. Yeah. So when I have, pur I've, I've purchased from her, she has, like I mentioned earlier, some really nice um, nail polish products. And there's always like a scripture, there's like a verse of encouragement and it's, it's always like a powerful one. Can you um, talk about that? Like why, why you included that into part of your beauty packaging? I included it into my beauty packaging because I feel, I strongly feel like, you know, we all are to have some kind of like team around us to just push us. Like you may not be getting it from your home, but um, if I can be a voice to help the next person believe in themselves, believe that, you know, yes, I am strong. Yes, I am beautiful. Yes, I am made for the job i'm called and i'm equipped for where i am whether it be in business in your family wherever we are you know just walking in the street like yes god has equipped us mm -hmm. yeah so, like i put it there to encourage everyone because my brand isn't only about purchasing from me it's about me giving to you something for free yeah i love i love how you're boosting everyone's confidence it's like amazing yeah uh, Yes, you're giving messages, you know, sometimes, and even if someone is hearing it in one place, right, maybe they might think, oh, well, my mom just says I'm beautiful, or my dad just says I'm beautiful, because, you know, they're supposed to, they're my mom and dad. Um, but when you hear it from someone who's not supposed to, or doesn't have, like, in your mind, right, I, I mean, I don't know that necessarily our parents are responsible to <laughs> tell us anything besides feed us and clothe us, the rest of it is kind of a bonus, right? But, um, <laughs> but like if, if you're getting it from people who you perceive kind of should be giving it to you, it's still nice to hear from other people, like strangers, because then you, that like starts taking your confidence, I think, to a different level. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's all about confidence. Like if you're confident and it starts from home, like we've mentioned, but anything that you do wherever you go you will carry that confidence even if you're you're speaking to a, a complete stranger you're speaking to your grandma or your grandfather like they will see that confidence and you could encourage them yes yes yeah. you could even build up your elders it's true absolutely so um so i'm also you know a photographer and so i'm always looking to help my clients be you know prepared for their photo shoots um and what would be your styling tips? What would be some suggestions that you would give them as they prepare for photo sessions? Um, especially maybe if they're on a budget. Huh. I would say for styling tips, of mm -hmm. course you're gonna wear your confidence on your shoulder. You gotta wear your confidence. Cause once that's there, everything else falls into play. And you always have to have your, you know, your something on your lips. Mm. both female and male like you know you don't have to wear too much of anything but if you have a, a gloss or something that kind of like sets you off like a little pop a little pop yes <laughs> yes um and then i also uh i i agree with you the confidence part right because that's like something that i do not 
allow on any photo sessions that I do is no negative self-talk about yourself. So when we're working together, you can only say good things about yourself. You cannot complain about what you wish or would like. It's it kind of like what you mentioned earlier, accepting your flaws. Um, and just kind of rocking it. Um, but so what would you suggest? How would you suggest people prepare? Um, one, one thing that I find uh, women are sometimes self-conscious of is like their hands or their feet and how they look. Um, mm -hmm. And as someone who has, you know, a nail polish brand, how would you recommend that someone prepare you know, that's sometimes overlooked, right? People are think maybe more about hair and wardrobe, but how would you suggest? Well, a girl always has to have her nails done. You always got to have something on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and even if you don't, make sure that your hands are well moisturized yeah. so that even if you don't have a fresh mani, having your hands moisturized, kind of like, it helps a whole lot. Yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah. And I'm um, just be relaxed, like, you know, just, just relax yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't worry too much about it, because it all stems from within. It's all, it's all like confidence and self love, like just loving you. And once you do that, like we mentioned, it comes out automatically, you will stand differently. Yeah, you know, everything will be different. Yes, I agree. So are you available like for photo shoots to come do manis or petties or anything like in yes. a, is that a service you offer? Yes. Okay. So let's tell the world how um, they can get in touch with you should they need anything. Sure, no problem. You can get in touch with me on Instagram and Facebook via at Grace, G-R-A-C-E, Millie, that's M-I-L-L-I-E, Max. M A X, and also on my website at www.gracebymillimax.com. And you know, we're here to help you, we're here to encourage you, to push you, to love on you, to make sure that you understand that inner beauty is just as important as our outer beauty. Yes, yes, you have to have some substance, right? Behind yes. that, yes, awesome. So, thank you so much, Millie. I really appreciate it. I know the world's gonna love your tips. So thank you for joining us. You're more than welcome. Thanks Are, for having me. Yeah. Was there anything la like any last um, tips or any last message you'd like to leave with it, with us? Never, ever, ever, ever think that you are less than because we all have purpose in every area of life. So walk with your confidence. Take care of your inner beauty, take care of your outer beauty, and everything else will fall into place. Yes. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right.